Welcome to Minecraft but there are custom blocks. In today's video, we're going to be able to craft any block we want from any item in the game. What this means is that we'll be able to do things like craft super dirt out of dirt, sword blocks out of swords, and even a notch apple block that you won't want to miss later into the video. Can it be the dragon? What does the totem block do? Stay tuned to find out. And a lot of you guys watching are new and not subscribed, so if you do enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe with me in 3, 2, 1. There we go. Welcome to the team. And for today, let's try and hit one like with our eyes closed and after doing one spin is that too much anyways guys enjoy the video all right so today's video is definitely going to be a weird one guys today we're going to be able to make a block literally out of any item in the game and when i mean any block i really mean that you can make a dirt block out of dirt blocks and then you get a super dirt block and i'm not even done there because you can make even stuff like apple blocks lava blocks netherite block blocks diamond block blocks literally every single type of block block but with all that being said our goal for today is to try to make all the super blocks that we can make and the first one we can actually go ahead and make right now with nine dirt and when we put the nine dirt in a crafting table, we get, oh, there it is, the super dirt block. Dirt so tightly packed together that it can form multiple different things. All right, so I'm not sure what those multiple things are. Also, I got to grab a lot of apples because I can also make an apple block. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and place this bad boy down. Oh, gosh. Okay. Wait, particles, desert temple. Oh, poop armor. What? <laughs> Void hole and a dirt spear? Poop armor. Wait, huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Um, oh no, it's gonna put it on. It's curse of binding. So from that dirt block, we got poop helmet, poop boots, poop leggings, and poop chest plate. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna be wearing that. That's curse of binding. Low key, I kind of want to make more dirt blocks, but there's also a ton more blocks that we can make later into this video. So we might as well try to get all the possible dirt things, but hopefully it's not poop armor. Here we go again. What is it gonna be? Oh gosh. Really? Again? Poop armor. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think there's a bread block also. Oh my gosh, guys. Holy bread. Okay, I'm gonna steal the bread real quick. Make a bread block, and then we're gonna to get the ultimate giant bread 15 bread and then i think this is all we need because oh gosh it worked yes and then we literally get a bread block i hope you're not on a low carb diet all right so we might as well place it down i mean there's a lot of bread in case this doesn't do much but it looks cool all right bread block what do you do okay let's get this bread wait oh my gosh wait what <laughs> what okay is that mine holy bread also all the stone just became wheat what okay bread block is op what the heck just happened all right so far i have three saplings i'm gonna need a good bit more but i am appreciative of that bread block that was actually pretty cool so before we go and try to get more blocks i think i'm gonna try to get the dirt temple at least because if there's good stuff in the dirt temple that isn't poop armor then i'm honestly all down for it so one more time please give me something good okay please don't don't give me poop armor void hole at least a void hole maybe void hole oh okay oh that's sick oh it's going all the way down and oh wow it goes straight to the void okay we're not going down there you know what one more time i really want this dirt temple third time's a charm or fourth i don't even know and dirt spear oh my gosh okay we're not gonna run out of dirt but i did not expect this <laughs> what i will not stop until i get this desert temple all right i feel like this is the one guys yes desert temple that is not a desert temple. <laughs> okay, that is a dirt temple, not a desert temple. But you know what? We might as well try it out. As long as there's no TNT, I should be fine. Holy, it's literally all made of dirt. All right, so far so good. There actually is TNT. All right, let's mine the stone and... Oh, wait, it's actually normal desert temple loot. Not bad. All right, so one golden apple. We can make a golden apple block, so not bad. Another golden apple, some string. Nice, very nice. Oh, and a diamond. Nice, all right. Very convenient and also some more sand. What will a super sand block do, though? Oh, gosh, we still haven't gone into the caves, guys, and I'm kind of addicted of just making super blocks right now all right so with nine sand i think we oh yep and i was right we can make a super sand block and it says sand so tightly packed together it can form multiple structures oh so we got another structure one i think i'm gonna make multiple of these let's go ahead and make might as well make three i mean why not all right so what can this spawn oh wait oh desert temple and desert well not bad all right please desert temple desert temple desert temple and desert temple oh <gasps> Wait, what the heck? Did it just rain sand? <laughs> okay, not sure what that was about, but anyways, hopefully we can get some good stuff and then go straight down to the caves because honestly, we haven't started caving yet and there's definitely a lot of blocks for us to craft today. Punch two! Okay, not bad. Even more sand, uh, some more string. Can we get some more diamonds? Diamonds wouldn't be appreciated. I'm a big diamond guy. Oh man, okay, nothing good. We only got like one thing. I'm gonna place some more blocks down and then we can go down. Wait, can I do this, guys, before I do the other ones? Oh, wow. Okay, um, all right, well, that actually worked. We got a stick block, a block containing so many sticks that it may accidentally form tools. Whatever that means, we might as well place it down. Let's see. All right, well, stick block, give me the good stuff. Wood, wait, that, that's it? 
Oh, okay. That is a lot of tools. And oh, we got like a little tree. I don't really need these tools. I wish I kind of did this at the beginning, but I mean, a stick block is a stick block. I'm not going to complain. We really can't get saplings or apples from this to make a sapling and apple block, but I'm not really going to complain. Let's go ahead and get to this desert temple, get the loot, and then get down to the caves because I need to start grinding out for that notch apple block because I always feel like the notch apple thing is probably the best thing in the game or the netherite block thing. Though getting the netherite block thing is going to be very difficult. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. Uh, gold ingots. Not bad. That's a good start. Fire protection three. Not bad. I don't really need that. Four golden apples already. Okay. Frostwalker one. Wait, this is the ice thing, right? Let me know in the comments down below. I always forget my enchants. A literal mending bug. A layer three. And finally some iron. Not bad. I'm not going to complain about that. All right. Not too bad. Oh no, it's nighttime. Okay. We got to start heading down. Wait, I just got an idea. What if I make a cobblestone block? Okay. That worked. And with that, we get a super cobblestone block, which says cobblestone packed together. Harder enough to and then it just kind of goes blank so that's kind of terrifying we might as well place it i don't trust myself placing it down here so let's go ahead and place it up here why not please make me a cave or something versus oh Oh, oh, wait, no, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. Wait, no, look at the chat. All ores are now auto smelted and literally this whole area is full of lava. I'm just gonna head down now and start mining. I guess that was kind of like a power upgrade because we can now auto smelt every ore we mine. Not bad. All right, and just like that, we can go ahead and make a bucket and probably an iron sword will not be a bad idea. Though for now, I am gonna keep every single type of sword I do make and you guys will see why very soon. Oh, we could maybe make the iron block block next. That's gonna take a lot of iron though. We are gonna be mining for a good bit honestly. But you know what? To make things a little bit more interesting, let's go ahead and place a super sand block right here. Come on. Desert well. Very nice. Okay. Honestly, desert wells are kind of a scam. I'm trying to think, what could we make next? I know we can make a totem block, a notch block, a netherite block block, and a diamond block block, which this actually will help us get to that, even though we do need nine times nine diamonds, which is going to be literally 81 diamonds. I might have to grind out the temples or something because there's no way I find that many diamonds anytime soon. Wait, what if we make a super stone block? I didn't even think about that. Wait, let me real quick get some coal, put that there, and let's see what happens. Probably a good idea to make a diamond pickaxe too. All right, so I made 41 stone. So with the stone, I think we... Oh, yep, it worked. And just like that, guys, we got the super stone block, which is stone so compressed that it has extremely strong gravity. Wait, what? Wait, is this going to be like a black hole? I'm not sure about this, but we might as well place it here. I'm going to walk away in case... Oh, gosh, it's here. Oh, it really is like a black hole. Oh, my gosh. Oh, diamonds. Oh, okay, so it doesn't break any ores, but we just found two diamond veins like that. That's actually amazing. What the heck? And just like that, guys, we got three more diamonds. And low key, I kind of don't even want to make the diamond armor yet. I feel like I should go for a pickaxe block first, which if that sounded kind of weird, I'll explain it very soon. But pretty much a pickaxe block is going to be something very worth our time if we can get to it. But the hard part is that we actually need to get netherite to make the pickaxe block. So with that being said, I might have to make a lot of super stone blocks and place them in the nether. Oh no, I just placed two. Oh my my gosh, diamonds. <laughs> Well, low key, that did kind of work. I'm just going to go ahead and grab these diamonds. Also, that is a lot of water. What the heck? Oh, and I definitely should get some gold because I do have to get the notch apple block. Literally, there's so many blocks in this challenge. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to all of them, but that's my main goal. Get to all the blocks, hopefully survive all the blocks, and then get to the dragon and beat the game and then go boom, boom, pow, pow. And then you guys like and subscribe. And then you guys comment bucket if you made this far in the video, because why not? That'll be your next goal, guys. We're going to try to make a super bucket. Also, probably a bad place to put this, but oh gosh, any diamonds? No diamonds? So real quick, I can make actually enough bucket. So, I mean, we might as well try it. Why not? I need to get one more water bucket. We'll make an unlimited source of water and then see what we can get from a super water bucket. All right. So water here, water there. Then we literally can just keep grabbing water. So with nine water buckets, guys, I think this might work. And with this, we should get, oh, and there it is the water bucket block, which doesn't make much sense to me, but be careful of compressing this much water together. It may cause a flood. Oh gosh. I think that might be a hint guys. Oh no. Oh, we get the buckets back. Actually, because we have a lava pool right by us. I'm gonna real quick. No! Oh no, I need more iron now. <laughs> I kind of wanted to try out the lava bucket block too, if we could make one. So real quick, let's get some iron and then make it. All right, nine lava buckets real quick. And I was right. We get a lava bucket block. What could go wrong with compressing this much lava together? Honestly, a lot of things, but we might as well try it. Let's try the lava bucket block first. What does this do? Lava fall? Incoming fire? Nothing? Will we good? Oh, wait, does it do it above us? Oh, the incoming fire might be above us. I think we just missed that completely. Oh, gosh. Okay, I think we definitely dodged a bullet because the fire was probably above us. We also got a book, so this book is gonna... Oh, my gosh. Okay, fire aspect three. What? That's not even normal. 
It, what? Okay. And because we can, might as well. Water bucket block. What are you going to give us? Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Wait. No. What the heck? Holy water. Okay. Well, I can definitely pick up the trident. And I just got Dolphin's Grace and water breathing. We might as well take advantage of it. We did find some diamonds down here. And we did get Dolphin's Grace. I'm going to give the water block a nice 7 out of 10. Because the water can get annoying. But at the same time, we did get a lot of diamonds. But I think I might just go for the stone block instead. So I think our next goal is going to be to make the iron super block. And then if we can, we'll go for the diamond block block. So we definitely got a lot of iron and I think this definitely will be enough to make the super iron block. So with nine blocks of iron, guys, I think we should be able to get. And there we go, guys, the iron block block. Iron so compressed that even structures can fit inside of it. Okay, so if it says structures, Loki, this could be big. Please be something good. Oh my gosh. What the heck? <laughs> what? Literally an iron monument. Wait, there's chests inside and a lot of iron golems. Oh my gosh. And a lot of iron. Okay, this thing is huge. I gotta figure out what's in the middle though. Another chest, some more iron, some iron leggings too. I do need iron leggings, not bad. Also guys, let me know in the comments what's better, a trident or a sword? Let me know what you guys prefer because uh, I don't know. I'm not sure about the trident I have right now. Oh wait, a diamond. Nice. Okay, not bad. Oh, we found it. Okay, is it gold or is it diamond? And it's okay. And it's still gold. Not bad. I'm not sure if we can make a super gold block, but if we can, that is definitely going to be a very OP thing. So before anything, is this possible? Oh, and it is guys. Okay, we are going to be trying to make a super notch apple block, but before that, I think I'm going to see if we can make a super gold block. No, it doesn't work. Okay, I guess we can only make the notch apples. Why not? Now I just got to think of a way to get totems. If I'm going to be getting a lot of diamonds, guys, I think I might have to make a pickaxe block and maybe even a sword block, axe block, and shovel block, even though I don't know if those are going to be useful at all. But that being said, I think the fastest way to get as many diamonds as we can is literally by just making as many stone super blocks as we can. So all I need to do now now is just get a lot of cobblestone, a lot of stone, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. So we cooked a lot of stone. And when I say a lot of stone, I really mean we cooked way too much stone. And I think this definitely will be enough for getting all the diamonds we need coming up. All right. And just like that, we have 45 super stone blocks and I just placed two. Oh gosh. Okay. That may have been a bad idea. I should have probably placed that a little bit more down. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Yeah. Let's try placing that down here. Might be a better idea. Oh no, we placed two again. This is the new form of strip mining guys. Oh, time diamonds, yes. First set of diamonds, not too bad. We do need 81 diamonds, so this is going to be quite the grind until we can finally make the diamond super blocks, which is going to probably be worth it. I mean, diamonds are diamonds, so, uh, oh, nothing good. Oh my gosh, we are just falling. There is no ores right now. Never mind. Holy diamonds, that is two diamond veins right by each other. Look at that nice five of diamonds. I'll see if this is in vanilla Minecraft, I will be using this all the time. Also, I just burned some diamonds there. So before we continue mining all these diamonds and stuff, which in total right now, we literally almost have a stack of diamonds. I think I might go for the bow block. So real quick, nine bows. That's all we need. And there it is. The bow block, a block containing the power of multiple bows with extra powers. Interesting. Okay. But I might as well bow block. What do you do? Random bow and arrows. Oh, wait, we just got a bow. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, can I pick up the arrows? Oh, nice. Oh, that's the bow block. It just kind of just gave us a bunch of arrows and shot them all over the place. On the bright side, I didn't really get hit by them. I don't think they would have done a lot of damage because I mean, it's a block. I don't think a block can really punch me, but oh my gosh. Actually, it's not that good. Dang it. Bow block bow, flame two, which is actually really good. Mending three, unbreaking four, and then curse of vanishing four. Unlocked from the power of the bow block, equipped with special enchantments. I think I definitely got to make another one of these because flame three alone is not going to cut it. All right. Well, that was the bow block. Now we just got to go back to trying to get other stuff. If I had fortune three right now, that would be amazing. But I think to even get any good pickaxes, I'm going to assume that we need to make the pickaxe block, which is going to be a little bit expensive. Please be an eight bit is an evade not bad and a gold vein right behind it oh my gosh that's beautiful how much golden diamonds do we have now <gasps> wait we might have enough wait i'm pretty sure we do have enough hold up guys so with this we can make seven gold blocks plus two more and with that guys we have a nine diamond blocks oh there it is the diamond block block what could possibly be more compressed than diamonds already were only one way to find out oh gosh wait what do i do with this guys i'm not sure all right here we go guys wish me luck diamond block 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 oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> well, we no longer have a diamond problem, and we also now have unlimited diamonds. Wait, I think I might know how we're going to get totems. Yeah, before we go in there, let me real quick make full diamond, and also we can make literally infinite mansions now, unless we can get more structures. All right, before I go in there, just in case, we're going to make one more notch apple, so now we need seven more notch apples, and then we're set, so let's go ahead and explore this. Oh, wait, oh, wait, he's like literally trapped in a room like this. What the heck? Oh, we just got a totem just like that. I should probably make a shield. Okay, I got a shield. And these guys 
ended up following me way too much. And at the end of the hall, guys, we have not one, but two entire chest room that definitely don't look like your typical chest room. So I'm gonna assume that we have loot in here. And oh my gosh, wait. Power two diamond hoe. Huh? Smite four diamond boots. Okay, are these just randomly enchanted items? Fortune three, efficiency five. Like, what the oh, that's right, ingot. Oh my gosh, that might be the key, guys. Okay, okay, that just got my interest, guys. I think we might be going through all these mansions to get all the netherite we can. Holy loot! Oh, another netherite ingot, though. Okay, we're actually getting somewhere. I mean, if we can at least get a bunch of netherite ingots, I'm happy because netherite is definitely going to be the number one thing we're going to struggle with. Yeah, I kind of give up on all the stuff, but we are getting netherite ingots, so I'm just going to go for the netherite ingots. Oh, wait, guys. Guys, I could make a sword block right now. Hold up. Guys, I think we might be going for the sword block. Okay, one smithing table, one diamond sword. Then with one netherite ingot, we should have all the swords we need. And I think all we got to do now is just make three extra diamond swords. And I think we should be able to make now with all these swords, the ultimate sword thing. And that's going to be the sword block. Only the most powerful players may unlock the swords inside. So with that being done, guys, let's go ahead and see what we can make from this. I'm going to guess something sort related who knows swords oh my gosh holy what the heck do we just get a bunch of good swords fire aspect four guys look at that sword okay i am literally flabbergasted right now we're gonna kill the dragon so quick all right i think we found our best sword guys sharpness five fire aspect six bane six smite six sweeping edge six and i'm breaking two that is a w right there i'm taking it and it doesn't stop there guys because now we can also make a netherite pickaxe and if we go back inside here i'm pretty sure we can get some extra pickaxes now now. And with this, guys, we should be able to make the ultimate pickaxe block, which is going to be the super pickaxe block, which has the power of multiple pickaxes compressed together to create the ultimate miner. I think we might be actually ready now to place down the pickaxe block and finally see what this thing does. Oh, here we go. I accidentally placed it. Chunk. Oh, and it really is a chunk removal. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. If I fall down there, I'm legit just going to die. Okay, I could have literally just died there. All right, so uh, new plan. We're gonna get all the way down there. See if we got anything. I'm gonna assume maybe we can get a pickaxe or something. Okay, I literally just almost broke my legs. Did we really just get a stone pickaxe and that's it? Are you serious? A pickaxe block pickaxe, efficiency two, mending five, silk touch three, unbreaking three, curse of vanishing six, unlocked from the power of the pickaxe block, equipped with special enchantments. That's actually trash, guys. That that is the worst pickaxe I've ever seen. Honestly, at that point. I I'm just going to make another diamond pickaxe. I think the new plan is, guys, to try to go through a lot of the diamond mansions and try to get netherite that way and somehow getting 81 netherite ingots, but I'm gonna guess some mansions are gonna get more netherite than others, so we might get lucky with it. But before we do that, I think I'm actually gonna go to the surface to go ahead and get some saplings and apples to make the sapling and apple block. Okay, I think we got the perfect amount, guys. So we got nine oak saplings and 17 apples, which I don't know how we got more apples and saplings, but I'm not gonna question it. The apple block says, apples with so much gravity, it may call some friends from space. Oh, okay. And the sapling block, which says, the block that can contain an entire entire forest all in one square. So I'm gonna assume as soon as we place this, we're about to get a big boy forest. Oh my gosh. It's literally squishing me. Okay. <laughs> well, just like that, we get an entire forest with an axe in the middle. Wait, what? The sapling axe, efficiency five, fortune six, mending three, smite five. The axe with the power of making trees fall over with a single chop. Oh, that works. Okay, yeah, I like that a lot. We should definitely have enough wood now, and let's go ahead and see what the apple block is. It said I'd get apples from space, apple shower. Oh, a tree. So, from space? So, what, what happens? Is something come? Oh, no! What the heck? Okay, um, I guess that's one way to get apples. Not bad. But I think we might go with our next plan now, guys, and that is to make literally as many mansions as we can and get as much netherite as we can. So without further ado, we just made a double mansion. Oh gosh, we're definitely gonna get a lot of totems this way, but oh no. All right, the guy's already mad. Look, come over here. Two of them. All right, two totems, not bad. And then these annoying guys. Come on, come on, guys, come on. You're not part of that 80% of people watching right now that are not subscribed. Come on, join the subscribe team. Well, time to get as much netherite as I can, and I'll see you guys once I've grinded out as many chests as I could. So I may have gone a little bit overboard, and when I say a little bit overboard, I really mean it was completely necessary for these blocks of netherite. And not only eight blocks of netherite, but eight netherite ingots and the final netherite ingot we need. And plus, 
all nine totems of undying that we needed. So without further ado, guys, final netherite block. This took forever. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and make our first and probably final totem of undying block. The wizard tells me putting this many totems close together may create a longer lasting immortality. Wait, Loki, I kind of want to say this for the dragon. And then finally, guys, the block of netherite, which is going to be legend tells of an ancient debris so compressed it can contain a city. Wait, wait. So if this is true, this might be a netherite end city. Here we go. My computer just froze. Oh my gosh. All right, time to go inside, guys. After all our hard work, legit just one netherite block is going to make it worth it. I'm going to become full netherite literally immediately. I also saw a netherite bow at the top, so low key. I'm definitely going to be getting that elytra as soon as I can. All right, anything good? Oh, and it's end city, Luke. All right, protection four, thorns two, curse of vanishing. Literally all we got to do now is just make a smithing table, get our good stuff, combine it and just like that oh my goodness this is so much better than what we had boom boom all right we need a diamond chest plate and diamond boots and that's what i needed protection for and breaking three what the heck oh man guys we are stack stacked right now and just like that protection for boots curse of vanishing i mean it doesn't matter because i've never done in minecraft proven fact by the way all right don't fall now nestor literally i don't know why i'm all the way up here but i do want my elytra so and is it there yes it is there then there we go guys finally an elytra all we need now is some golden apples notch apples and obsidian to finally finish this challenge and beat the dragon and really see what the totem block and the notch apple block are about. So with that being said, let's go back to caving, get some obsidian, get some gold, and then we're good. Oh wait, I could just do this. Yes, take me down. It's like an elevator. It's kind of cool. All right, so on the bright side, we can at least finally make the nine golden apples we need. And just like that, we have the golden apple block, which contains the power of nine golden apples merged together to create an even more powerful effect. Interesting. All right, let's see it in action. Triple gold for eight minutes. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Wait, a second that legit said triple gold so if i go up to this oh my gosh we literally are getting triple gold this is how we're gonna get the notch apple block guys and i think i'm definitely gonna go to the nether before i do anything else but this is actually huge. Let me see if I can find some extra gold before I head into the nether. Or actually, I could try making the obsidian block. So we might as well do that now. Watch this. Fast obsidian miner on YouTube. I think that was enough. I'm not sure. But you guys saw my skills, right? Okay, yes. Perfect. Nine obsidian. So with the nine obsidian. Oh, guys. Super obsidian block. Obsidian super changed or charged with powers of dimension. So is this like a shortcut to the nether? Oh, well, let's see. Oh my gosh, that is huge. Also, I do need those gold blocks, gold apple, nice. The only thing I need right now is definitely ender pearls and blaze rods. So with that being said, let's go in. Oh, we are inside, okay. This is definitely one of the biggest flexes ever. Diamond blocks over a lava pool in the nether. And we found a fortress, okay. Okay, any, oh, already a blaze spawner right there. I'm just gonna get in and out real quick. Low key, I kinda wanna make a blaze rod block before anything. So we're gonna go for nine blaze rods. Oh, how's it going guys? All right, one. Okay, I think we just need one more. Come on, please, please, nothing. Yes, okay, that was the last one we needed. But Anyways, with that being done, we got the blaze rod block, which says blazes so tightly packed together that it can make them go crazy. Uh, where can we place this? Should I place this in the overworld? I think I'm going to go in and get the enderman first because we're going to make an enderman block anyway. So we'll see what happens when we get back. But before that, let's try to find some piglins to actually trade with or some enderman. Okay, that works. Okay, I think this should be enough. Stack of gold and might as well give them a stack of nine gold. There you go, guys. Go and uh, do some trading. Oh, gosh. Okay, I think they're done. All right. Sorry, guys. Well, they're definitely done. Done. May have killed them, but it's all good. So we definitely got some Ender Pearl 16 and 4. Not too bad. I think we might be ready to go back. Actually, because I am kind of lost in here, the best way to get back might actually be another obsidian block. So I think I might actually do that instead. Okay, so I finally got enough obsidian to make another full of super obsidian block. So I guess we just kind of place it. And there it is. All right, big portal. And now we can go back. On the bright side, all that's left now is just to get the notch apple block. Actually, how many notch apples can we make right now? Oh, no only 10 blocks of gold. I mean, low key, we could make another golden apple block that will triple our gold counts, which will definitely make things a lot easier. So I think I might go for that next. And uh, we also do have the sapling axe. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, did I just break it? That, 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 that was it? That, that was actually a scam. We do have the blaze rod block, which we might as well try. It did say blazers are going to go crazy. So let's see what that really means. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh we have fire resistance. I'm good. Wait, do I fight them? What the heck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. 
That is a lot of blaze rods. And the second to final block we need to make, guys, is gonna be the ender pearl block. A very explosive way to contain the powers of dimensions. Wait, I feel like this might just straight up teleport us to the end. And if that's the case, I actually don't want to place it down yet because I do want to make the notch apple block before anything. I think I'm going to go mining again and get as much gold as I can after I place down a gold apple block so I get the triple gold and then finally try out the final three blocks, which will be the ender pearl block, a totem block, and the notch apple block. All right, we finally found some gold. We got our golden apple block and just like that, triple gold for eight minutes. We should be good to go. So with that being said, I think I know the best strategy to do this. We have the super stone blocks. We have triple gold. Let's go ahead and get literally all the gold in the world. We're getting so close. I think this should be the last gold vein we need. After this, we should be good to go. And with this final notch apple, guys, we finally have all nine notch apples ready to make the final notch apple block, the block that contains the powers of notch himself. And with all that being done, guys, I think we're ready to go up, place down these blocks. And I think the last one will place this ender pearl block, which I'm going to guess is going to send us to the stronghold. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do the totem block first. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay. Immortality. You are now immortal for 10 minutes. What? What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? Do I have MLG? Am I, am I immortal? Oh my gosh, it worked. Okay. Totem block so far. It looks like it's the best one, but will the notch apple block beat it? Here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Power of notch. Literally hundreds of hearts. What the heck was that? Okay. And the notch apple sword. Sharp as five. What just happened? Wait, what the heck? Anyways, we just got the Notch Apple Sword, which is also Sharpness 5, like our Netherite Sword. And it says, a sword crafted with the finest apples in Minecraft, the wielder receives the blessing of Notch. You guys probably already know that this sword is very good because when we right click, if we look straight up, I'm pretty sure this is what hit me earlier. I'm immortal though, so it doesn't really matter because uh, that bad boy falls from the sky and oh my gosh, that hurts. Okay, we, we should probably be careful. But with all that being done, guys, I think it's time to finally beat the dragon here. Here we go. Huh? Doomsday structure and spawning in three seconds. Mama? Oh! 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 What just happened? That's the portal room. It just got nuked. Well, I guess we know where we're going now. So finally, after all of that, let's go beat the dragon. Here we go. And I'm not kidding, guys. With this Notch Apple sword that we just got from that Notch Apple block, we're about to beat this dragon in record time. But pretty much all I got to do is right click and you guys are about to see the power of immortality and the Notch Apple sword at the same time. Here it comes. And just like that, one Oh gosh, two, one more guys. And this should be pretty much it for the dragon and a direct hit with that final direct hit. That is going to be it for Minecraft, but I added custom blocks. But besides that, guys, hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here's a video just like this one. Bye guys.